Chris? Susie? You came back? Oh, uh, well... Chris just wanted to say bye. You know. Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye too. Please let me know when you want to leave, alright? Yeah. Yeah. We'll try not to skip you. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I can buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Got nothing left to teach you now. Life's got no tutorial. So try your best. Who, the Who are these guys? Ah! We've never seen them before. Best, you're the best. Honestly, where are you? You're absolutely amazing. The great book. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked C uh, Sham to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Even little Paul can say something like thank you. Darn horsey. You've done us a big help. Now all of us pieces can live in pieces. You did it. You ousted that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case I did nothing. Wonderful work, mine amigos! Thou hast toppled the tyrant, freedst our creeds. Truly, th history shall not forget the trail of rules card and the three heroes. What about that part where you tried to kill us? Ah, an interesting historical theory, is it not? Nonetheless, the evidence precluded such a thing. What evidence? I shall give thou a plate of worms for thou silence. Deal. Okay, Lupin. I forget, every character has two lines. Throws me off real hard. You did it. Oh, no. Uh, yep. I guess it's only the important characters that get multiple dialogue. Which is pretty much just rules card. Is there anything else? Oh god, there's more. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. The future looks sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much help. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B-Day too. We'll have one soon. If that's possible. Kathy looked at you proudly. Kiss! What's going on? I slept through everything. Ah. 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 What ho? What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Oh, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on then. <laughs> us animals decided it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. <laughs> oh. Yep. Sorry, I was hoping there'd be uh, more lines. Okay, nothing fancy here. I realize I'm stealing some of your lines. Oh well. I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. And there's that one dude with the cake. Susie! Blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye. You know? Oh! Really? Ho <laughs> ho That's funny! I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I, I, I mean, I did not want to. Um, so... You're the king now, huh? Yeah, and I'm not changing some big rules. Or, I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now legal. Second, prison's the only- only for dads. <laughs> Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, a uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just see, I guess. Um, well... See you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. 
Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. <laughs> Mama Miba, what a celebration. This calls for a cake. And this time, I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. Well, wouldn't he be like, Mama Miba? Yes, but I can't do an Italian accent. <laughs> so at best, they get kind of a Spanish accent. Okay. Oh. Susie, Chris, are you gonna leave? Um, I... I just wanted to say I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. What? What? Um, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Uh... Um, yeah. Sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. Wait, is... What is Dogna's stats? Hey, Chris, I know you want to stay, but we got to go. Is this the fountain? Don't know how Wait, is this it's it's probably is it is it Susie? Yeah, it's probably Susie. Okay, usually they have a, a little voice thing, but I suppose it's a cutscene, so whatever. Don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't we? Uh. Well, there's no time to think about it. Oh, about that now. Yep. It goes very slow for the Yeah, cutscenes. unfortunately I can't do the, like, kind of auto-complete if you hit A again. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if... Your very soul was glowing. What... what happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it! Uh, oh, so it's the the cards and the yep and the chess pieces and the, and the cat, the cat shopkeep. Uh huh. Huh? huh? The unused classroom. How do we get here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Uh. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alphys that we couldn't find any chalk. It's the old, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed, Alvin. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. Wait. It's a light switch. Wasn't there a green crayon missing from a pack of crayons? What? There was a pack of crayons that we found, and it was missing the green crayon. Oh, maybe? Yeah. It's a worn down stuffed animal. Checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. Mm -hmm. 
Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. I guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time. Huh? Ah. Well, I guess we should go. Hmm. See you later, I guess. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow. All right? The door is locked. The door is locked. Oh, right. That's Alphys's room, right? It's a bunch of roses. The computer is turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf. Even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. <laughs> ah! Locker is locked. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkins dance? Hawkman's dance. At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. <laughs> you run the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Oh gosh. Do you like breathing, moving fast, with or without legs, legs, but usually with legs? Join the cross country team with Jockington and Noel. Ah, right there. Historial. Is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. Some kind of teacher food. Oh, an apple. Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. Oh, right. Wait, is the she just another teacher? Yeah. Because that's Toriel, right? Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? <laughs> ring, ring. Ring, ring. C Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. I had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A, a friend? You are spending time with... a friend? Ah, Chris. I'll make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. You know, now that I'm older, the whole go to bed early thing, not really a punishment. <laughs> I just might I could read books in my room. Hello. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to Draw Dragons is 2,583 days overdue. Oh, How to Draw Dragons? It's like... How many years? Seven? Seven, eight years. However, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64.23. Consider it, Chris. Hey, Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Gotta go college. So Tim stuff it hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. <laughs> Righto. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. You look through the window at the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. It seems like it's making a game. It seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. it seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. <laughs> computer lab, please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. <laughs> Please remember my name. Please, I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hots Fire Guy. Lord of the Hammer. 
first in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Derson Boom. There's a book in here. You lick the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavor text. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh! I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no! They're putting it into their catalog. Oh no! I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry! Teen Zone, there's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The Teen Zone, where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. Does an anime review read it? Yeah! No, 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 yes. Teen's Corner Monthly Tune Review, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series, and let her, her tell you it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die off if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention, Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I ate at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older adults should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. A yellow lizard? Did Alphys read it? Yeah, probably, because she was the one that insisted that anime was real, sort of. Ah, uh, uh-huh. Police Chief Undine is supposed to be directing traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way! She's the best, huh? Wait, who's saying that? Undyne, the lady in the middle. What? I You're talking that... to the person in the car. Well, the person in the car is like, she's the best, huh? Yeah. And then the other one's like... Yeah. Let's keep going, keep reading it. She's not the one saying it, though. No, the person in the car is saying this, but you read the whole thing. As this person. Aww. What have you done? What have you done? Just keep- just finish the lines. I feel really directed. Hey, punk. Get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait. It's just Asgore's kid. Well, sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job's so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Alphys! Help you, Dark World. So she's, as far as I know, still dating Alphys, probably. Help you, or help you. Ah, oh, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait. Do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. Alphys. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Why? Did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alphys, I'll tackle him. <laughs> uh, they're as good as dead. Okay, so this isn't. This isn't something's the same wrong. Universe. Something's different. Dark world. What? There's a dark world inside the school? Huh. Sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. No longer dating Elphis. Might not know who Elphis is? This so seems this like is alternative. Yeah. Universe. Because... Because the character we're playing as is ostensibly Frisk. The true main villain of the previous game? Uh, at least the sweater matches. Uh, because Frisk wore a, a green and yellow sweater. Um, and, but our name's Chris instead, so... I don't know. Because, yeah, Asgore and Toriel divorced, and... I, whatever. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Oh. 
Oh, it's you. I get to play the piano again. The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano, shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Yes. yes. Link. Hmm, you usually play the piano a bit more beautifully. Definitely okay. You do seem a little sick. I can, can oh, I... you weren't gonna... Oh, my... What is that? This castle's white wizard relegated me to a healing chamber, but my blood is boiling for battle! Dad, I, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I died. I literally died. Noelle, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. Uh, what, really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noelle, maybe... maybe you shouldn't wait. D dad You should bring it here! I'm bored as hell! <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it in next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh. That's uh, the group project voice. Bird guy again, what's his name, Nerdly? It's, a uh, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. G goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Look, it's like Christmas game early. All right, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make me, you come here? No. No. Really? You're growing up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. <laughs> now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? Well, she's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember, she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Why do we just have all these characters to talk to? I don't mind, but it's very odd illness. So, why am I in here? Well, I found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to, I don't know. Yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. Okay, last one. Mm -hmm. Family. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey, now that Asriel's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties? Like me and your dad? Heh, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, woohoo! She was, she'd always fuss about going. But once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with the key lime pie, I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. Well, this is a ridiculous... Can you look at the toy? What toy? There. Right this. there. Oh. It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. <laughs> the beads march grimly along their set path. <laughs> it's true! Every time I used to go to my pediatrician's office... <laughs> they really office, do just automatically spawn there. places. You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They closed the blinds. <laughs> wow. Rude! Hey, you have to be methylod... Whoa, how big is this town? I don't know! It's massive! Oh, hey, a church! Oh, no! The town hall. Oh, no! 
The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative, but she works hard, has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics, rarely. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here and on a school day. There must be a reason for that you came here at such a time. I, Father Elvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak, fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. We would participate to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this I don't... outside the town? Uh, what the? What? Oh, that goes underground. It's locked. Right, but that's that's like the world below. Either it's some creepy bunker or it's... I don't know. There's just stuff happening. A graveyard? Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for, of a proud mother, bleh, for a proud mother. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. I'm confused. Okay, let's see what the... Oh, hey. Oh, what? Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. Name's Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Friends, we just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Bye. Got anyone I should know better? Hmm. Hi, Mom. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. <gasps> she's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Oh, thank goodness. Said she's got to lock her door to stop you from meeting them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? What's up? Friends! I know people don't like my choice of voices for Sans and Papyrus, but I'm going to keep to them anyway, if I can remember them. Unfortunately, well, wasn't Papyrus spastic? Yeah, so everybody gave him a Skeletor voice. I just gave him shouting. <laughs> <laughs> My teacher. Alphys, yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. And slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is, uh, purely business. So, uh... I guess I'll let her do her thing. Friends. Me. Whoa there, tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call call it whenever you look, feel like. You got Sansa's number. Oh right, we did have a cell phone, or like a, a phone last time. Mm -hmm. Um and you could just randomly call the NPCs. What's up? Store. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain, I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy that runs it. Mm-hmm. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know? Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. Ugh. You should probably hesitate more. No, well, I guess I shouldn't complain. No? Huh? What are we gonna be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Knock, 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 knock. No response. But the distant trussle of bones. <laughs> bones trussle. 
Who are you the human that lives at the top of the town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? 